six and it being nighttime. And they're leaving Arteezy so far out on the top lane because, like you said, he's just not really killable. So he can play that aggressive, farm safely, has no worries as they're looking for the smoke opening here. Universe coming in, they're going to find Envy. Silence is there. Now the duel committed. He wants to time it right, so he wins this thing ideally with the Sunray coming through. Envy dropping fast but will not give up the dual damage at least, though he still falls. Can they turn this around? AUI joins the fray. Good stun by him. Will they have the damage required? Bada also. It's a trap again by NP. Setting these beautifully all over the map. Well, Arteezy might be able to farm safely. And finding those kills might be tough, but Envy... Oh, man. That is not the hero you ideally want to be focusing down first. EG just overestimating their damage output as Arteezy will get trapped here in the cogs. Could be a danger with the Illuminate coming through. Blade Fury's quite late. He takes the full damage and maybe Fada commits for the kill. Well, normally Arteezy shouldn't die, but indeed he mighty omnis his way out of it. Big plays. He did the math. And now Pi's on the run. They might lose the Keeper of Light. It's NP's turn to overextend. Back and forth struggle here by both teams, but... So the follow-up aggression will begin to mount now. NP leaving NP in front, soaking up that tower damage. Trying to keep that Seed Creep alive. He will succeed, at least for now. EG, though, trying to make short work of it. The Illuminate crashing through, and Brittany's eye low. He's going to fly over the trees, gets off the silence on the Keeper. No more reinforcements coming in, at least for now, as they try to focus Envy. Sumail's jumped in pretty far, and on top of the clockwork, he now wants to retreat out. The Ember joins the break. Can they focus down the egg? No, they try to run away, and running against the storm with a Bloodstone is a very tall order, so give him his first charge, but you got to imagine more could be coming. EG on the hunt. No more duel available. Good chains. They look for the disengage, and Universe will purge that off. It is daytime, but the DD Roshan. <laughs> Man, NP has had some fortuitous DD runes. Yeah. Zai doesn't have a TP on his Night Stalker. He's also there worked is, on that dag. There is buyback. They'll scare him with the ultimate. They might have to commit this buyback as Universe runs into the pit. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? But NP already grabbing the just now going to engage on the Universe, charging forward into the Sunray. That's like maximal damage to do with the Bristle, so he backs off the Egg Drop. NP on top of it, keeps on running. MSS2, the duel pulls him back in. Will they get the win? Egg dropping as well. The Illuminate, not enough. It is a win for Universe. Some bonus damage for him, even as that ages. The only thing they don't want is feeding kills for free. We've seen NP position incredibly well around this bristle time and time again. I feel like that's the fourth, fifth, sixth time we've seen a five man smoke find a bristle. Finally a fight, an opportunity for the dual commitment. Falling forward with the storm. Once that keeper light trying to bring him down. Good blinding light though. Falls it again. Sumail's out of mana. Could be in trouble here. Trapped in the trees with the Nyx working him down. But the goo comes out. Nice Phoenix, Egg, and Sunray too. Keep Sumail in fighting shape. And now after ignoring the armadillo, they want to come back from MSS though. A great position on the cogs. Sumail up to high ground. Might have to blood from suicide. Won't manage to get it up in time. Fada actually secured the kill there. That's a big takedown. And P make it four. That was unexpected. The Legion was not expecting to have all those heroes. The Aegis has the insurance policy he needs, so he takes that risk, moves on to the high ground, begins to chip at the tower. Some big team fight potential from EG, but they don't have the best setup for this egg. This tower dropping quickly. DD Rhodes have been the savior today. Now the duel committed. It's on to Envy. Do they actually try to focus him down? No, the egg gets dropped in the middle of the fight. Pretty good placement there. Well, they have the follow-up, though. They've already lost their Legion commander. Sumail duking it out, but just can't deal with these cogs. He's been shut down by MSS. Would have been managed to kill him. Might have to go for the deny in the end. A Hulk slams the door. Sumail falls out for 40. Does a buyback. Might have to use a crit on the run, too. Chains are there from Fada. NP again. Choosing the bots well. Finding the kills. There's the buyback. What can Sumail get done? He needs a lot. Zai helping him out as best they can. The cogs. All that stands between them and additional follow-up kills. But now the Shiva's guard gets cracked by Fauna. In the middle of four, he really wants to back more. Buyback's committed. They have to kill him. They will once. And they do it a second time. The one remnant. It's going to be tough to get out of this fight. He'll slight, and he'll be in trouble here. But actually, with the Nyx around, they want to dodge that stun. Still chasing forward pretty low. Thought it might be able to turn this. He might take a few with him. Now the duel. Blade Mail recommitted. He's so damn tanky, though. Is this an Ember Spirit? Or is this a Tidehunter? Finally, he'll die. My god, with that Chiefless Guard Blade Mail, he has... Quite a few extra lives. NP have played against smoke so incredibly well. Are they defensive enough, though? That's Radiant the question, Zai. You see bottom lane, and you know what's going on now. Stampeding up the river. Everybody there for now. NP out in front. Good position by him. Universe will engage, though. Gets off the duel. Follow-ups there. Sumail jumping through. But do they have the lockdown to burst him? This bristle, so tanky, but dropping reasonably fast. They do get the kill. They pop NP. No buyback either on the bristle.
Crystal Mech, that's a huge amount of team fight gone. Still fought a standing scrim though. Looking for the universe trade. Blocking him down inside the cogs. He will eventually drop. Man, that took a while. So it ends up being a two for one. Darkness counter about to reset. And now it is night. And they hunt. Jumping forward, but a beautiful cogs by MS has prevents the universe initiation. Pushing it back. He's out of mana. They don't have a duel for this fight. NPC's opportunity rushing in. Thought of there as well. There's the chains. No follow-up just yet. The blinding light is going to force EG back Down. with no mana on the- Oh! He missed it! Oh! He's done it! Stills the Aegis, takes it away from the clutches of NP, and makes it out too. Oh, that is a dagger to the heart, gods. With that Aegis cheese, this game might have been NPs for that first lane of Rax. Stays with that item selection. And uh, Arteezy quickly seizing this tower down. No real sign of a defense. NP suddenly on their heels. And Aegis Steel did really change everything as far as the complexion of this game. And now they'll draw forward. Sumail with the confidence. Lunging in. Can he kill off the Keeper Light? Great force that play for now. Keeping him alive. They're going to drop the egg in the midst of it all. Arteezy doing good physical damage. They win the duel. They bring MSS down. Looking for more. Sumail sees the opportunity again. Jumping for the Omni's there. Slashing, slicing, dicing. Gets another. Still only two supports. They just finally pop. Thought of perhaps at heavy cost though, as the chase is on, swooping in again. They try to lock him down. Arteezy does get some, but Jamel's back. Round two. Let's go, baby. And he wins that duel. We'll find another kill. It's three. Looking for four. Pummeling them in the base. Has to be careful. Jumps away. Low on mana. EG reset. They forced out the Ember buyback. It's a big, big victory for EG. And they'll settle for that margin. All of a sudden, God's an even game. Small consolation prize, perhaps his universe, but he has the TP. He's out too. And no way to cancel it. Full stops, Lotus Orbs. They're able to keep that keeper alive after the storm gets an initiation on it. MP look to calm themselves down. Only a 2,500 gold deficit, though. It feels a bit worse than that. But now they make the move. MSS there with the hook. The battery assault afflicting Arteezy. He will deploy the mantle style, but he's being focused down. It's Sumail potentially the rescue coming in, looking for the save. He's got the vortex. He's caught three. Where's the follow-up, though? They don't have the damage just yet. Universe trying to assist. Thought of staying alive. He's also very tanky, but now he's getting hounded. Force back. The egg cracks. And problems amount for NP on the run all of a sudden. The sun ray Thought drives still them. Alive. Thought is low, though. Boy, very low indeed. Three. But he pulls out of the jukes. He survives. He might even come back in. He's got the Octarine heal. Keeping him in fighting shape. Zai commits. Perhaps too far. Have EG overplayed their hand. They have! It's Fado with the triple! They want more too. They're on the hunt for universe. Could be all five. Can he make it out? AUI in hot pursuit. Doggedly chasing after him. Has a little bit of extra move speed. Got to need to hit that blink stun. It doesn't look like anyone else wants to follow. So Dude, it's daytime, there's no egg. This is the dream time to go. Well, EG, we're writing down the buyback timers in case it matters, but I don't think it will, gods. NP not looking to wait those out. They want to go right here, right now. Let's duel, EG. NP looking for the racks. Can they bring down the melee? For now, decent bashes on Envy, preventing him from hitting structures, but the Hulk interrupts. That could change it all. I'm lunging in. Gets great lockdown oh, with the Vortex. Sunray heal, though. But where's the follow-up damage? Our TZ stay alive. For now, though, he's very low, and Envy's on the hunt, forcing him back. What's the racks? Hit those buildings, Jackie Mao. Keep on smacking. He brings it down. NP, one step closer to the grand finals. And NP not in position to contest. Crit will get the ward down. The pings are coming though, pretty rapidly. EG start to stream, or uh, sorry, NP start to stream towards the pit, but the Roche about to drop. Do they even get in in time? NP surging forward. Roche, oh, there's the host. They're into the pit, and now we fight. NP. Looking for Universe, will they find the kill? The Roche slows to mail. Try to grab the Aegis, he'll be successful. Now jumping, seeing opportunity, surging forward. They'll find some kills. EG racking him up and knocking him down as Envy on the run. Bada two, Pi's got to drop. Remember, they don't have a buyback on the clockwork. Out for 90, it can crumble here for NP. They've got to be careful. Attack cooldown is absurd with how often it's up. It's a five second duration with a five second cooldown, so you're able to spam it out to deal with the Searing Cane, so 
We'll see if Universe can start getting oh, some jewel another kills. one of these double damage runes on the hunt. The ideal hero to carry it. It's Arteezy. It's into the back lines. Let's the Omni fly. Highlight Dino. It. Able to survive through it. He is going to lose him. Backs off to safety. Arteezy trying to chase him out. They still look to lock him down. Supernova deployed in the midst of it all. Sumailo and Mana. He had to commit a lot just to get into this fight. And Zep the looking for a retreat. The duel, though, it's on the Bristol. Even with the Sunray still at two thirds HP. Not sure this is working for EG. They've got it back. Quick fast in a hurry, our tour down as well. Out for 90, has the buyback, has to use it, I think. If NP continue to press their bands, they'll find that Night Stalker too. Vampire not able to escape. They'll rip out his fang, take him down to Earth, and now maybe chasing for Universe. No. Okay, we'll end it there. Painful stuff as they will have to defend without a Phoenix. I don't know if they can really take a team fight without that Supernova. And no buyback either. There will be no shenanigans for EG, Chairman Mal. Once again, marching in. How do they take this fight? EG will try. And oh. Sumail! He got all five, but where's the follow? Do they have it? Do they have the damage? It seems they might! Finally a stun, but EG hanging on a hope and a prayer. Keeps them in the game, at least for now. Five? Man, Electric Vortex! That was insane from Sumail. Found the opening and keeps EG in the game, LD. And not just that, they want more. They're gonna find Envy 2 chasing him out. There is a buyback. He limps towards the arcane rune. Blinding light there. What more can Sumail possibly do this game? Side the base. They're gonna defend their high ground, but no, EG took initiative and jumped in. We see this time they're not grouping. Once more under the breach. Envy out in front, leading the charge, working on the range. He's gonna bring it down quickly. Thwack, thwack, thwack. Down it goes. He is being bashed, at least for now. They try to control him. That Phoenix of Crit has to be careful. Arteezy just tickling him for now, but Sumail this time, he can't find the five-man opening. They're gonna commit it anyway. Hey, comes in. MSS there with the Hulk, looking to interrupt. Not able to do so. They do find the opening kill, taking the Fata Ember down. He's got buyback if he needs to use it. They'll lose more here. The clock out for 85, and Sumail not done yet on the chase, but a Monolique stops him right in his tracks. Thou shall not pass. This is still a factor here. Mata now goes, gets the BKB while maintaining his buyback. Just the Phoenix, Arteezy. one hero. Are we gonna see this movie again? This time, though, he's got some backup. There's the duel, the blinding lights there. They commit pretty heavily. Lotus Orb, though, protecting the Bristle back, at least Whoa. for now. The what Lotus a sick play. Will it be enough, though? I'm not sure they can save him anyway. Chasing him out, trying to lock him down. Charging forward into position. The Phoenix Egg, still available, has the double leg. Let's one go. Trying to block the path of Envy as he surges towards freedom. But lose Gandalf, too. Keeping the light low. Clipped and caught. Arteezy will take him down at the knees. And now now on to Fada. Fada in danger here, has to back away. No, he wants to set his trap. He egg. wants to go back in, but egg number two. Blocking the path. EG charging in. An ultra for Arteezy, a triple buyback for NP. And EG can just get out. Wait for the storm to respawn. You don't need a buyback. Don't play NP's game. Don't play the buyback game. They'll take a risk. They can move they out. Can they find the opening? Lanes have pushed out pretty well. Universe holding back, and B is revealed. They know there's no supernova. The and perhaps NP just say screw it and commit. They don't have to fight against as many eggs this time. Envy, for what it's worth, has a butterfly, but again! So now! He gets every single one aside from a lone survivor, lips away at EG! They find the opening! It's over! It's JJ! Is it? <laughs> I think it is. Envy, so. can they cancel that? Surely you can't. Okay. <laughs> Sumail. Wow. Sumail. Su freaking Mel. Oh, he's he's trying to read it. Yeah, he was prepared for that as well. Oh, yeah. On himself. The word in that position. Oh. Top lane, Fly, trying to outplay GH. What's it going to happen for the time being? As Fly is going to be the one to pay for this. GH gives him the rot, rot run now. Take the kill at the same time in the middle lane, and things have opened up as well for Liquid. They've got the stun. Montana does still have an Omni Slash, but he's being chain stunned up. GH coming across as well. S4 trying to play the, break the fly up with the flame break. Anna's still alive. Gets the Omni Slash out, but the Tuna Man will be able to time walk out. Anna's got to get himself away from this all. He's ticking down low as the run wears off. GH is only, only going to end up hooking with Tuma in the backside. Kuroki will fall. Sunstrike, it connects. Miracle gets himself a big, big pickup there. Right as well. Slightly delayed, so. I think they're. I think Liquid's definitely getting back into this. 
Let's see what we can get with this. This is kind of a tell though. Pudge used his ult on OG neutral. scanned out. There are no miracles here. He's very low. He does have the shrine amongst him. They're going to throw everything in him. They get the oh, static oh. storm. The boat flying through as well. The shrine heal isn't enough. And OG with an incredibly successful smoke gank. Don't only find two. They look to find three as well. Kuroki getting X marked back. Surrounded by the side. And OG claim a third. Brilliant smoke. Great scan. And they found the perfect catches. Does break one smoke on Kuro. Dyer's bottom tower. No tail's gonna hide attack. in a bit of a secret spot. Just keeping himself right behind the trees. Interesting spy as well. This is a good hiding place. They don't see him from here. They have to be up at top to get him. Now with the song, they're gonna look to try and set something up here. S4 and the boys coming through, OG in line. full force, Fly's got a static storm, he can lay that down with the kinetic field, trap two out, and this is only going to help No Tail's Radiance Fund absolutely massively, Kroki trying to turn, but he's in so much trouble, he'll only get the stun out onto No Tail, the Thunderstrike and the right clicks from Fly, enough to bring him down, as Kroki and GH will fall, Mind Control, Still alive for the time being. S4 still has a lasso. Mind control. He'll try and TP out, but S4 is going to be in there with oh, the ult, no. holding him back, dragging him underneath the tower. The courier taunts him as it flies among him, and Fly and S4 will find that the double kill for Fly. And as brilliant as OG smoke was liquid, they were just unable to emulate it later. That Course. Radiance is almost up too. Yeah, it's very nearly done. And that is the big worry for Liquid. Control does have eyes onto S4. Set up with the spike carapace. That's more than enough time to buy the time for Kroki to come in. No way you're missing that, Sunstrike. Oh, does he actually get out? Has he got stick charges? He has. He, pop he gets out. The one charge is the escape, the Omni Slash for Mana to find the punch kill. And they're going to even get more out of this. The drag back with the glimpse brings Mind Control back into it. Oh, and they just curl. don't kill S4. Oh, are they chaining it onto more? He's got a shrine. Is he going to pop? No, he's going to continue to try and run. They're low on mana for the field from Fly. It's enough. And OG get themselves the triple for the Juggernaut. Oh, such a good fight. I don't even think they saw this. I'm pretty sure. No, they don't know that. Yeah, they don't have any vision around this area. And uh, yeah, Groki is going to get X'd up. There's a chance to follow through. We'll get saved by the hook from GH, but I say that. He's been glimpsed back immediately. He's surrounded by the kinetic field. Jarex puts the armlet on. They'll stun him, but they do not want to go in onto this. Looking to block off any sort of a chance to try and help Kuroki. And the Radiance Burn from the Illusions chasing him down. He will still survive. They get the hook. And Dol onto No Tail. Can they burst him with a finger on the sun straight? They can. Big kill for Liquid. Can they get anything more out of it? Matuma Man dragged back, but he has the time walk. The boat flying in. Matuma lays down the Chrono. He doesn't have the damage really to go in onto Anna. They're trying their best. It would miracle they can. As the rest of Liquid come back into the fight. Do manage to lock him down post Chrono. Get the kill. GH. Seeing if you could get more there with a hook connection, but it doesn't quite. Fairly detrimental for him since Miracle can still push it in, but. Well gotten gains. Would have been a little easier. It'll just go cut creep waves at spawn. And still a really big old demand for OG though. 4,500. Oh, this smoke could catch too, but all quick with the blink out. S4 will survive. They catch Jerex, they will punish the Admiral. Kunkas down, Song comes in. OG, they're seeing if they can try and fight back into this one, find some sort of a setup. Miracle comes in from outside of the Song though. Drops the Tornado and the MP. They will get the Static Storm Kinetic Field Trap onto Matuma Man, but the Shrine is healing him up. Matuma Man will survive. OG, they can't get the killer. They've lost S4. They surround No Tail Liquid. They get themselves the third, and now they're moving in for more. And they're trying for the TPL, but he gets bashed. Matuma Man with the RNG now looks to continue the chase down here. There's five of Liquid hot on the heels of Anna. It's the speed of the phase going to be enough to save him. Matuma Man, no! Oh, he yeah. gets the bash, the deafening blast, and the sun strike. Miracle gets the triple kill. What a fight for Liquid. Okay. I assume they had a word of some kind, or vision. Getting out. Oh, mid lane, the jump in, but oh, S4. That's a forehead surrounded by four. And he is actually going to live. It's a reverse forehead. It's a pop jam. He'll survive. There's the song counter to the chrono. But Tuma Man now surrounded. Maybe this is the fight TV. that OG can turn. But the static storm surrounds him. They try oh, to hook no. him out. But the illusions block the hook. But Tuma Man, he may still survive though. He gets forced back. Can he live here? He's brought back. Still gets the time walk out. But Tuma Man, but now he's going to get brought back again. The x marks drags him back in the end. Ticking him down though. But he's still got the time walk. But Tuma Man will manage to escape everything. Quite a miracle, really. Everything was dropped. Mm -hmm. Mostly, except for the Omni. I don't. I didn't see a boat combo. Maybe Jerk's gonna die. In the no, no, Omni can't. I didn't. Oh, 
Miracle, starting to style. Yeah, I think Jerex certainly spent his money on the wrong stuff this game. The you know, armlet you know, was fine. not the move. Yeah. Not I, I think the phase was completely fine. But we get this goal. Okay, that's a line. They can do that one. Get one there. So if you get more mind control, actually, as friends here, Liquid can still fight this, but Tumulan just jumps in, pulls the disruptor to pieces. If he can get anything more out of this, Anna will escape with a Blade Fury. But like this guy's. He's gonna see the debuff though. Jug. Time is money. Jug might get found here. Yeah, still hanging around. Alright, control's gonna find him. Oh. That was just chance, I think. He just happened to spin TP at that exact moment. Get it. Losers will be spotted out. Esquire actually jumps into this. I mean, he has got a BKB, so he's relying on his team backing him up. No tail comes in, but there's not gonna be a chance for initial cell. He gets Chrono sphered up. The boat comes in. He's getting bashed. Chain stunned as well. Tornado from Miracle. Can he sing his song? He can! Gets it out just in time. And that will be enough to allow him to disengage as OG look to get the hell out of there. Miracle hot on the chase, trying to see if they can get some sort of a catch. Control heading forward as well. Will land the stun onto fly. Kuroki blinks forward and they should get this disruptor kill. No, Matumba, he blocks JH's hook. It doesn't matter. The force force there. They will at least get the disruptor. But my goodness, if No Tail didn't get the chance to get that song off, that could have gone a lot worse for OG. Yeah, it was really close. I, so I, I checked Kuroki's cooldowns right after. He did have Hexo, but he must have been out of range at the moment. They killed Batrider at least yeah, on the side. That's a, a lot better than just the disruptors. Also fed a lot of illusions too. Well, I press the button. It'll be up in about two minutes. Sometimes a couple bugs, but he's uh, according to the stats, he's 700 gold for drug illusions. Look at this OG, they do want to fight this S4, looking for some sort of an opening on the side. You have Miracle eyeing up the best way to go, but Tuna Man's already pops his BKB. We'll go for the Chrono. Does catch Nota? That's gonna be there's no song, but Kroki, he's already gone. The Toro, the boat fly him. Kroki will buy out back. Can they kill No Tail in time? Can he sing his song? The tornado comes in, mind control. Looking to get the vendetta hit through. They'll get the hook and such. No Tail's down. Kroki has been trapped in the static storm though. They've lost two, but it's OG as well losing to him there the bigger losses with no tail down for 60 seconds OG Anna he's also being found out here he'll try and play for himself away he does have the um he's got the TP he's doing the blink back back trick Could, will it actually work oh, it's, oh, oh it doesn't the damage instant comes out afterwards he does get the Omni slash out from Matuma Man time walks off the damage he's stuck in the wall of ice liquid they'll get themselves the juggernaut as well as the Naga Siren in that fight now we're talking about things to work around. Mind Control's now got a complete hit acronym. So this, I mean, this next assassin is going to be so disruptive in the fight. It's going to be yeah. even harder for No Tails to get the chance to sing they, the song. They have so many stuns. Yeah. I almost feel like Naga needs to get a BKB. Oh, and straight up in onto Anna. Little bit of a mess up though. He doesn't commit oh, the BKB, GDs. so Song will come through, and OG may have a chance to turn. Jerax looking for the perfect setup, but the BKBs now come out in time. They're still focusing in onto No Tail. Mind Control burrows up. He's got the control. He's got the stuns. The Diffusal Blade coming out to No Tail. No Tail, can he get out of this? He can't. He goes down, and it tries to turn with the Omni Slash, but he just hasn't got the damage. Looks to get himself away. Fly's going to be taken down by the first off uh, on the side, and Mind Control again burrows up. The initial stuns there onto Anna. Anna, oh, is he going to get out with the Blade? Fury? No, he's not. Miracle blinks forward. We'll get the fourth kill. And Liquid once again dominating the team fight. Yeah. Part with the HP gives you a bit of a chance, that extra extra chance to get the song off. Yeah, that's that's probably the goal. At least the magic first would do less for him. Or at least possibly have enough raw HP to survive. The GH is fight. ready to waltz in with the Shiva's guard, their song. And he's not going to be able to finish out underneath the cover of the song. He'll still continue to try and hit it. Now they've got to back off. The song's done. They do manage to get the root onto the man. No Chrono for 20 seconds. He eats the cheese. Turns around, gets the bash. Time walks away. GH with the dismember onto Fly and the hook. They'll take down Disruptor. The Static Storm was out in time though to control man. But again, where's the damage from the side of OG? It's not there. And now No Tail out of mana. Stunned up. Miracle coming in with a double, 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 deafening blast. And that's No Tail down as well. GH hooks up mana as well from the low ground. And Liquid again taking the team fights and OG with no hope, there's just no damage. They just can't do anything, and Liquid, they're just outplaying them now at this stage. Each and every time, 50 minutes, 20k gold lead coming up. They've got to push down on this bottom lane. It's looking so, so rough for OG. Yeah, there wasn't a Chronos here, but there was, there was a BKB from Void, and it just offset everything that the uh, that the Naga Sleep did. It, it didn't give them the chance to set up on the heroes they wanted to. They had to deal with the Void, and then that basically countered Naga Sleep. 
Pushing on. They've got that AC on Matumba. They've got a lot of damage to bring down these structures, and there's not going to be the chance for OG. GH and Miracle on fountain control, making sure that Fly and Jerex do not leave the base. And in this crucial three games, the side of Liquid, they'll take the victory 2 1 as they bring down OG. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance structures are fortified.
So easily fall.
light fades from your eyes.
Peace is broken. I must have stepped on it.
Radiance top barracks are under attack. 